What up, Cricket for American Family Nation, CFA, all the names. CFAM! There you go. We are watching Solomon Ben versus Australians. It is a request from Jahan during one of the live streams. And you know, it's supposed to, it says on the clip here, Cricket fight. And y'all know how I am <laughs> with Cricket and the fighting. I, I want to see some actual fighting. And it's probably going to be, um, sir. I have, Would you step away? We have fallen for that before. <laughs> Top 10 cricket fights from someone who's used to some American sports. Ha! ha! Seriously. But I do love some cricket. What's up? Yes. Nick here. She didn't give me a chance to introduce myself, just in case you didn't know. Sorry. That's right. The same Nick from Born Reviews. We are not twins. But we are here. This is also a Patreon request because Jahan is a gracious patron. And if you are joining us with our live streams, you know about Dr. Jahan. This guy's a superstar. But we were talking about this in the live stream, and he's like, you got to check this, this out, guys. So it looks like it's past my uh, long list of FBI checks, and we can check it out. I do not know who Sullivan Ben is. I'm assuming he's this guy right here, this bowler. i um, not exactly sure. Um, looks like he's for West Indies. I don't know anything about this fight, if it's a fight. It's actually said, hey, next time, if you please, <laughs> would not be um, so rude to me. I would appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Step behind the line. Ooh, controversy! Give him the fun! <laughs> Watch out! We kid because we love. We kid because we love. Don't forget to like and subscribe to CFA. Thank you so much for joining us. And let's check out this fight. I'm excited. Here we go. Quick interview with him this morning. Just before he went to the next Daddy, to check it out. Three. It this is test, though, so... Sore. Obviously, the top end, he can't grip properly. That's no, all right. The, the guiding hand. A bit Ooh, of a mix-up. Ooh, he's out of his way. He was putting the hip and shoulder who was in. in whose way? He got in his way, <laughs> and he kind of like gave him a little like uh, shirt and show. There's a little bit of a go. He's, He's standing there. Super ben tall. is never far from an incident. And yeah, it's good that this fight is finally going to dish something back to him. He, he's been no, standing I mean, close and invading personal space. He's looking at him. Two players and always no, he's walking right up. The action, so that's fine. And the other way that he's playing player is trying to stand there. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's like, what? What's going on? You want to talk to my face about it? Well, if you can see what actually happened in the in the run, Sullivan Ben's quite entitled to go and try and field the ball. And, uh, I suppose at times players will come together when a situation like that happens. I think it depends on how it's handled afterwards. Watch a f here, big man. Watch yourself on me, big here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Why is the Empire, like, not doing anything? The batsman says, I'll do what I want. Wow. Uh, Shocked that the Empire is like, Yeah, you don't see this. I mean, this guy away. had to have gotten a fine just for the talking right there, let alone the staring down. It was Mitchell Johnson, and that happens. Oh, good delivery. Oh, close. The wicket. At times, the away. bounce that he gets hurts him. Oh, drive Gabe crazy right there. To be there. between uh, bat he Bye still takes hands on his hips. The that's a dead giveaway of Great anger. Delivery. This is, Frustration. Oh, good. It's replay. Might have done. That's Mitchell Johnson having the collision. So both men pretty entitled to do that. They're little I little think they're little both in the wrong. Jersey I think they're both and, in the uh, wrong. Obstruction mm. and then hadn't reacted straight away. Oh, he's pouring his bat at him. Oh. That shouldn't be allowed either. That's what ticked him off so probably even more. Took offence to the, the bat pointing by the sound of the conversation from there on. Oh! This is still going. He's not letting Ooh, this go. He's hot. Oh. What's going to happen now? Oh. Put his hands on him. Oh. Is he going to throw a punch? No. Okay, so okay for Cricket, that was a fight. Put on my hat. Floppy hat. <laughs> wow. I don't. I wow. don't understand, though, why he's so mad. Like, they both ran into each other. They both, like, and they both were, like, kind of pushing each other out of the way. I, uh, I, see, I don't I see it that way. It. I don't see it that way. The The batsman cannot obstruct the bowler, as far as I understand. The bowler can't, like, purposely obstruct the batsman, but the batsman can't obstruct the bowler's path to get the ball. The ball was hit, right? The bowler has every right to go after that ball as long as he's not run into the... The batsman, as far as I know, sorry. As far as I know. But it looks like to me, now his leg was very exaggerated out, the bowler was, when he's, his opposite leg is where he was going, sorry. Okay. Was dramatically out. 
and it got in the way of, of the batsman. So that might have been maybe him obstructing the batsman because he has his leg out. Also, it could be like, dude, get out of my way. I'm trying to get my ball. You can go run as much as you want. It looked like to me the batsman was running towards the ball as well. You don't. I can't imagine you're trained to do that. I can't imagine you're trained to do that. I think they also have to make sure that they're not running on the pitch itself. So maybe he was trying to get onto the grass. And if I'm wrong on this, as you guys always do, correct me below. But I feel like the batsman is a little more in the wrong there because he got in the bowler's path of fielding. If, if the ball went the opposite direction and, and, the, and the, the bowler kind of did one of these, oh, I didn't see you there, sorry, as you're trying to run, then it's, it's the bowler's fault. But he has the ball on his side. He has his fielding path on his side. And this guy's running into him. I, I, I just don't buy that the batsman want, needs to run diagonally when it's just straight. Why do you got to run diagonally when it's just straight? So this is what I saw. Here's the batsman. Here's the bowler, right? Neither one are looking at each other. The batsman is trying to run and the bowler is trying to get the, the ball. And so they're going like this. And they just, since they weren't looking at each other, I mean, they clearly were not looking at each other. They kind of ran in, and then they both are, like, pushing each other. The batsman, to me, looked like he was annoyed. Like, get out of my way. I'm trying to run. The bowler looked like he was annoyed. Like, I'm trying to get the ball. But they both were pushing each other. But I think it was, honestly, I think it was just an accident. I think they both weren't paying attention. They both were just running and kind of ran into each other. See, and I look at it differently because I used to work at a restaurant, and you've got to move quickly. You've got to, you've got to be aware of where you're at at all times. People yell, corner, corner. You have to pay attention to that because they have a big tray full of food. And just because you might have your tray or you might have whatever you have, you've got to get out of the way. People got to get their food. These people have, it can all fall and tumble. So you've got to be aware of your surroundings. And I understand this is cricket, not the restaurant world, but that's kind of where I'm coming from. The ball was going over there. He had the right away to that ball. But the batsman the had batsman, the right away to run too. Yes, to the to the other side. So the other he stumped. runs. But they, so even if they're crisscross, he runs and he goes this way. It shouldn't be a matter where the batsman, and maybe he was trying to get out of the way, but he ran towards it. That's the only problem I have. If he was going straight and this guy's like, hey, get out of my way. I'm trying to go here. Then I see what you're saying. But I feel like the batsman went with him in that direction. I'd have to rewatch it to see if he was going to the side. Ooh, heated conversation. But with that being said, what? how do you feel about how he reacted to it? So, Again, I don't feel like... Because there's a like, whole lot of talking, there's a whole lot of jabbing going oh, back and forth. Oh, there totally is. I don't, I'm not saying that I feel like the bowler's wrong. I'm just saying, like, I, I understand how they both hit. Like, I feel like neither one of them were paying attention. I feel like, yeah, it got definitely heated. Um, I feel like the bowler was super angry. And that maybe he could have cooled down a little bit. But I also see that the batsman was kind of egging him on a little bit. Like, he did point his bat. And that's pretty deliberate. And, you know, Good they man. did have heated words. But that's where that's where in baseball you just throw the ball and <laughs> hit the next <laughs> hit the next batter and you're, you're good to go. <laughs> I was shocked. I was waiting. I was waiting just for. I really thought that that next um, that next ball, like the next pitch of the ball, that he was gonna hit him. I really just thought that's what was gonna happen, but it didn't. Yeah, and I don't. We don't know the history. I don't know if this batsman or just Australian in general has a history with Solomon Ben. Or with West Indies at this time yeah, when it happened. Yeah, that could be. My thing is this. I'm all about de-escalation. That's just kind of in my nature. Now, I like to debate. And I'll get there and get in the middle of it and kind of egg on Gabe when our streams for fun. But in a real situation where things are getting heated, I, I want to de-escalate as much as possible. There was a great opportunity for that batsman to de-escalate. Okay? Yeah. And I'm not saying he has to. They're both grown up. But you can see Solomon Ben. And I'm not sure if he is a guy who is quick to anger i'm not sure i have no idea but you can see solomon been frustrated with the fact that he was obstructed in his mind and he's so mad and he's staring at the, the batsman all the batsman had to do was say sorry mate sorry you know yeah. my bad mate no big deal you know don't worry about it you're a good bloke whatever you gotta say just a quick sorry mate and have him just like kind of get his little fit out of it and then go back to it. But he had to, he had to be that big man too. And he had to stare at him. And he had to point the bat. And he had to jab. And he had to look at him and stare at him. And all. I mean, you don't need that kind of nonsense. And then after, I mean, Solomon's so mad that he goes to throw it like he's gonna throw at the guy, and he like, held himself. He was he was unhinged. But and again, I'm not I'm not for one side or the other because I really I feel like they both were in the wrong. But at the same time, you could say the exact same thing for Solomon. He could have. Calm down too. He didn't have to stare down the other guy. No, I know, he didn't but have when, to have his hands on his hips. I'm maybe it's a man thing. thing. I think it's a person thing, but maybe it's a man thing. When you have that button pushed, when you're hot and you're ticked, you know, it's 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 not within reason. And I don't I didn't see the batsman hot. I didn't see him tick. 
I feel like he was just kind of trying, and maybe yeah. he was trying to get under his skin so that he wouldn't bowl as well. And we saw on the next ball, it was really, really close, but it missed that wicket. Um, maybe that's, I have no idea. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know the history of this. I want you to tell me, Nick, this is what's going on. This is how I feel. This is what the media said. Whatever. I can't imagine if Solomon Ben did not get a suspension, did not get a fine, did not get in trouble somehow. If he didn't at all, then I'm flabbergasted because of all those 10 fights that we watched, this was probably oh my gosh, this that was the one or two, right? I, I think that would have been one. Yeah, that would be a fight. Like everything else was just like, when we watched it, I remember thinking like, okay, when's the fighting happening? Like this is nothing. Um, <laughs> Did I click on the right video? Right? But no, I definitely think that that's number one. Um, but I, I just find it interesting. I would have thought that the umpire would have stepped in a lot more. At one point, he just stood between the two guys, and he just kind of like looked forward, like y'all keep saying what you're gonna say, and I'm just gonna stand here. I thought, yeah, he I was been surprised like, he didn't go, like, hey, go, enough, yeah, give a warning or Play something. I've seen that before. Yeah, I'm, I'm very shocked that nothing was said, unless maybe it was so heated, and it was so uncommon for that kind of thing that he was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want to tick him off even more. I'm just gonna stand here and hope that they kind of get the, the what do we call it? And um, oh my gosh, I forgot. In teaching, we call it um. When you, oh, what is it called? When you stand really close to a student who's not doing what they're supposed to. Proximity. Maybe he was using his proximity to, like, well, fix it. I'm going to be objective here. I'm going to be neutral, and I'm going to say that I was right. All right. <laughs> if you if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for checking us out, Cricket for Americans. We always are talking about cricket. She loves the sledging. I so do me and Gabe. So these are videos right up our alley. If you have a great request for us, please get it in to us. And until next time. We should like this video. And like our video, we will like this. Um, that's the different video went to the next one. Yeah. We will like this other this video we just watched about Solomon and the fight. And you guys like our video and we'll call it a win. All right. Goodbye, guys. Longest ending ever. ever.